Welcome. Thank you, citizens. Welcome, one and all, in here, out there, all around the world, to The Late Show. I'm your host, Stephen Colbert. First of all, you know what that is? John? Yes. You know what that is? What's that? What's that? That's a Friday audience right there. That's a, Friday That's a real deal. That's a real deal. Yeah. How are you? Happy Friday, everybody. On Friday, I like to take a step back and, uh, and, and, and get some perspective, you know, because sometimes in the rush, of our daily lives, yeah. you know, keeping up with what's going on in the world. Sometimes we get so caught up with all the investigations into Donald Trump, we forget <laughs> to take a moment to notice what a bad job he's doing. Because <laughs> when, you, when you look at the Trump presidency... Thank you. Because when you look at the Trump presidency, and please, do it in a mirror like Medusa, um, <laughs> he, ha he hasn't really accomplished much. Take his signature issue, racism. I'm sorry, I mispronounced that. Um, I'm sorry, <laughs> immigration. He, he promised to reduce illegal immigration, and yet, in the last several months, unauthorized border crossings have spiked to the highest pace in 12 years. Of course, they're rushing in now. America's in its final season. Everyone wants to be a guest star. <laughs> Trump tried. All the best. All the, all the best. Trump tried to claim that the surge in border crossings is both a victory and a disaster, tweeting, Wall Street Journal, more migrant families crossing into the U.S. illegally have been arrested in the first five months of the federal fiscal year than in any prior full <laughs> year. We are doing a great job at the border, but this is a national emergency. Okay. You're either doing a great job keeping people out or border crossing is a national emergency. You, you can't have it both ways. <laughs> uh, Mr. Johnson, sit down. The test came back and they're all positive. Your tumor's doing great. <laughs> Trump's also... Trump's also not doing well on his second bis biggest issue, uh, China. Uh, last year, he started a trade war with China, declaring... I am a tariff man. <laughs> come, Mr. Tariff Man, tariff me banana. <laughs> Daylight, come and me one play golf. And... <laughs> Dip. Experts said the tariffs would explode the trade deficit, but Trump promised the tariff would actually bring down the trade deficit. Well, surprise. This week, the Commerce Department said that the nation's trade deficit is at a record high in part due to punitive tariffs Trump imposed. This is what you get when you elect a guy whose central philosophy is that big numbers are good. <laughs> Look at that huge deficit. Almost as impressive as my giant, beautiful cholesterol. <laughs> and... <laughs> my heart... My heart pumps light, sweet, crude. And it's not just trade. On, on, on Tuesday, the Treasury Department announced the budget deficit hit $310 billion, a 77% increase over the previous year. I can't, I can't wait for his next State of the Union. Ask not what your country can do for you. Ask this scratch-off if it can help. Treasure chest. <laughs> treasure chest. Squid. Damn. <laughs> Thanks, Obama. <laughs> but Trump knows. <laughs> Obama fans. Obama fans. But Trump knows nothing is as distracting as a good old-fashioned distraction. That's why he recently proposed a whole new holiday. On the 4th of July, we are having in Washington, D.C., a great tribute to America. I hope you can all come. Fourth of July, keep it open, the Fourth of July. A salute to America. Yes. We're all gonna be saluting America on... Sorry, what was the date again? Fourth of July, keep it open. Right, Fourth of July. <laughs> keep it open, maybe take the day off. Get out of the house. Ah. Have a barbecue, <laughs> something. <laughs> 
I've decided Washington is going to have a party on the 4th of July. There will be big parades with floats using a new invention of mine, wheels. <laughs> but here's the thing. Here's the thing. Washington, D.C. already hosts an annual concert and fireworks on the mall, so the only thing that's different is now we have to listen to you give a speech. It's like that cousin who stands up before the Christmas dinner and goes, before we eat, I've written a short prayer. <laughs> and lo, the Levite Amizah, son of Hilkiah, descendant of Ethan the Merorite. Someone wake up Grandma. She needs to hear this. <laughs> well, give me a second, sir. <laughs> now... Fantastic. If Trump wants to announce a brand new pre existing holiday, two can play that game. <laughs> Tonight, I would like to officially announce a special event we're going to have right here in Times Square this December 31st, Keep It Open, <laughs> which I'm calling a salute to time. <laughs> yes. We're going to be celebrating. I like that. We're going to be celebrating time. Yeah. We're going to be celebrating time, maybe, maybe not in the day, maybe in the eve. We'll be doing it in the eve. I will be giving a speech. Uh, there will be a ball drop. Uh, we'll count up, no, down uh -huh. to midnight, and we will toast with something I'm calling cold bubble wine. <laughs> and we'll all shout, happy time observance.